Hello everyone and welcome back to Super Mario Maker 2. So yeah, in case you haven't caught up with pre-playing number 10, a uh, video series where I do like whatever, whatever. <laughs> well, yeah, you're wondering where I've been on this. So yeah, this is kind of an, a newish level I was making, but that's not the case. Hey, so I was trying to climb up the leaderboard. For the last time I checked in normal mode, I was number 95. I probably still have ways to go. So yeah, not every level has been good. But you know what? Oh well. Oh, no. Okay, that there was clever. Let me guess, he's gonna fall into the pit. I've seen it. No? Okay, right into the castle. That's pretty good. Yeah, I probably got bumped down to... Woohoohoo! 96. Not bad. But I'm gonna get back up there. There, I wanted to get to number one, or somewhere close to there, for uh, the third part of this series, but... I just don't want to keep you waiting, and I've been like grinding away at this, to the point where I'm like, do I really need to be number one? Is it worth it? Worth it? Like, really? Well, it would be nice, it's just it's been taking a lot of time. Um, don't worry, I'll head over to my backup account and we'll finish up story mode or something. That and since this game got recently updated, I kind of want to be a bit more careful on it. On it, because there could be other updates, too, you know? There we go, back at 95. So yeah, I've recently gotten the graphics card for my uh, new PC setup. All I need to do is just build the chassis. And um... Yeah! The graphics card is a huge honking beast, so... I'll probably be able to stream better too when I'm not, like, being professional. Oh, more or less, say. Not bad. Yeah, so I kind of want to check if this is still recording. Recording, I apologize, it's just my dog kind of like crawled up to the keyboard. Okay, we're still good. 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 Alrighty. Let me get my input back in once again. Yeesh. Hopefully I'll be able to invest in a monitor or something. 
or find a wire for that, because the new graphics card should be able to uh, handle multiple monitors at once. But, but however, I kind of have an older monitor, so I'm going to probably have to find a different kind of wire for it. But that probably won't be until, like, February or something. Okay, this one is pretty darn good. Oh, geez, I hope we make it. We're not gonna make it! We're not gonna make it! We made it! Okay, cool! Yeah, I just wanna screenshot those little artworks there. Dispenser here. And it was themed under music. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Not every level is good. No offense to the dude who made it, but Yeah. Mario's Daily Walk. And under multiplayer versus, I'm a little scared. Okay, this isn't bad. So far. Huh? Okay, that was cool. Nice. This is shaping up to be a nice multiplayer versus so far. Neat. I might also want to highlight what I'm making here, too. Because I've kind of been making two. Ooh, and I've kind of been redoing some levels to fit with the new course parts. And I've got some new courses in general. Yeah, I think somebody should pull, pull them that Goombas can't be stacked up in this style. Well, not yet, anyway. Winter Coin Run. Man, I love the re Mario 3 renderation of this theme. I understood that the snow theme, theme was indeed in Iceland. 
like the Iceland in Mario 3. But not the music. Mary Hutzmus? Is that like oh, no. a different language or Yes. Still kinda working on multi-language. Which that's probably gonna be for another day, but I know some things. Things in different languages, but not a lot. Oh wait, this is a speed run. Yeah, now I noticed the increase speed in music. Okay, that wasn't bad. A bit more, but you know what? Give it a like anyway. Ninety four. Wow. Parkour in Ancho sixteen. Ooh, yeah, I I don't There's better ways of doing things with claws. Okay, that was pretty cool. Okay, that was not. Pretty good so far. Or so far, so good. Now, come on. Yeah, I really like how they got creative with the night theme. It's like some areas go into a uh, bit of a darker lighting thing, so you can't see it very well. Well, some areas just change. Gravity changes. It is just, like, depend ways the enemies move. Stuff like that. By the way, I was thinking on doing a little review on 
Pokemon, uh... Sword. Sword, I don't know about shield, but... I have sword! But I'm gonna wait on that until Pokemon Home comes, because... I know there are some Pokemon in the game's code without Pokedex files. Or, or relatively unused, or just don't spawn the wild area naturally. I understand there are some, like Eternus, that really aren't supposed to be in the wild area, but eh? I guess they kinda, kinda gave that for all Pokemon coding into the game. Like Game Freak, whoever helps help that, that make that. Besides, uh, the guidebook apparently said be sure to look for Poke out for Pokemon Home in early 2020, so I don't know if this is the final Pokemon. X, or if they have something up their sleeve, like new forms. Arms, I was pretty dissatisfied that they didn't include every starter or line or mythical. Because those are some of the most iconic Pokémon. And most loved. Oh, but I can wait... Wait for their return. And I mean, I got like... Like, I IV bred... I said this before, I IV bred my... What I could. Recaught Legendaries, and thanks to me owning multiple versions of a... Of a game in Generation... Or just different versions together I was able to get multiple all uh mythical Pokemon per uh game sorry pal I just don't think your course is up to par with those naked pipes I'm sorry just a thing I have unless it's for aesthetic reasons like like 1 1 not exe not found? Then. yeah, no. See if I can clear a runway. Oh, I can't read that. Well, not yet, anyway. But it's a nice level altogether. So oh, yeah, I got an Oz's graphics card with GeForce from NVIDIA. Same people that, that power the hardware and the Switch with a collaboration with Nintendo's chips. You know the thing I'm playing right now? Playing this game on? Mario's Puzzling Adventure. You realize that there are other multiple characters, right? Luigi, Toad, Toadette. You know what? I think I will give okay. Luigi a bit of a go. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, if we uh, lose a life here or. Or uh, get to another level. This isn't puzzling so far, it's just, uh, kind of a swim. It should have been called Mario's Swimming Adventure.
Well. Bad, but I just think it was more after. Oh, hey, world record. Raid the Lakitu. Another thing I noticed that with Luigi's graphics is that they included. Is a uh, Super Mario All Star sprite, and I think kind of edited it. Oh, please don't have spines! Please do not have spines! Leave. They're gonna throw a spine here. Okay, this is getting interesting. Oh, um, my dog wanted a bit of attention, so I gave him a bit of a pet. Well, I noticed the animations are a little different from um, the Super Mario All Stars plus Super Mario World version of, uh, Luigi's sprite set, rather than it being, like, a recolor of Mario's. Because <laughs> I think it's a nice touch. Touch. It also, uh, I, I prefer the, uh, Super Mario... All-Stars plus Super Mario World 1, even though I haven't played that game, I've seen Luigi's sprite sheet, you know, that... ...in animations. Like that in the original Doom, I kinda want an SNES for. Or, but I have the NES Classic right now... ...and, uh, the Virtual Console on the Wii U, so... Kind of good. Black key two gang. No match for Luigi. Not bad. Actually, it was good. Very good. Dry Bones Desert. Talk about bare bones. I mean, that's what dry bones are. They're pretty much... Really bare bones! <laughs> yes, I know Luigi had different stats in the uh, Super Mario 3D world, but... They kinda made him like Mario's in this game, so it's like even for the multiplayer versus. And yes, even Toad. Or Blue Toad.
Although I think in Galaxy and 3D World, Mario had the better spin jump or spin moves. I remember Luigi taking a gulp of air when he did a spin underwater. And Luigi's spin jump not being as good as Mario. However, his regular jump was something to behold. Oh, his traction is a different story. But however, in Mario Maker 2, all the stats are even. Even, it's just like different characters that are playable. I agree! Games AF. Yeah, I just wanted to capture that. Because that's a lot of courses and a good variety. Okay, that was intriguing. Okay, that was close. Okay, let's give that another shot. I think I'll give Toad a, a go. So yeah, right now I'm using a Pro Controller. Or oh, I'm letting my Joy-Cons charge a little bit. With the little charging grip. Like the... Like there was another grip that charges, unlike the one that puts them more like a... Classic controller grip. It was more of a... One that... Uses them like a uh, the Wii Remote Nunchuck. Oh, no. Fuck, like differently. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna clear that level. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? How did you clear this? Sorry, pal, that's just a little too much for me. Salt lamp. However, toad sprites in the Super Mario World style. I think toad's graphics in like from uh, Super Mario World, Mario 3, and uh, the original Super Mario Brothers are all. Uh, are all handmade and new. I mean, not all new, not handmade, like they weren't hand drawn, but somebody had to make them. Space trip. However, uh, his new Super Mario Brother, others, uh, U graphics and textures, I think, are the same. Along with 3D worlds. Oh, it's because the blue toad appeared there too. Okay, that I didn't know was an animation of his. That was a cool triple jump. Either I didn't notice that in New Super Mario Bros. V because I think they reused the same model. As New Super Mario Bros. Wii, but they retextured it so it for the high definition of the Wii U. Yeah, I think Toad sprites here are all new. Ooh, as well. Along with Toadette. We'll give her a shot in a bit. Alright, 
Toadette, you're up. Here I go. <laughs> Indeed. I like how they kind of like tried to stay true true to the uh, sprites of, of Mario, like like how Mario had it in the original. Along with the color palettes of like the Super Mario Brothers. Others. Like, they, instead of giving the Magic Koopas, like, like a, a blue robe, they made it brown. Because Mario's shirt in this game was, like, I think brown, too. Like, they tried to stay true to the color palettes of the originals. But they take some liberties here and there. Okay, that wasn't bad. Good! I agree! Let's go. Yeah, I probably have to organize a lot of screen shots. Oh dear. Oh, not gonna be the best level. So yeah, I... I, while I may not own New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, I have the original. Oh, so I think that, that the graphics for Toadette that were, in, were also used in New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. I have played a demo of the game, but I don't think I've played as Toadette. Mabbit will be added. Like, somehow. And while Fire Mario was, oh, yeah. was like more of a shade of orange red, you gotta see what they did with Luigi. Alright, so this is based off of Sonic 3's Sandopolis. Well, a good zone, not one of my favorites in the game. Game and, uh, not in Mania. Kind of become my new favorite 2D Sonic. Or dare I say it, because it feels so much like a Genesis Sonic, but they went above Genesis. But under Dreamcast, like, they kept it to Genesis Saturn level. How well it translate into Mario 3? Yeah, new. Oh wait, that was a 10 coin! Flowers were where the fire shields were originals. Again, my memory's hazy. I haven't played Sonic 3 and Knuckle Knuckles in a while because uh, Sonic Mania is kind of like. We get the zones to the point where they were like better than the original, but still kept that feel. 
feel of the familiarity. Hurry, they just took out some of the section that that made you go like ooh. ooh. Reimagine them a little. Of course, there was a mini boss here, I remember that. Tried to push it into this quicksand. That, and there was no, like, difficulty, uh, Super Emeralds. Like, getting the Super Emeralds for me in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I only did it as Tails. Once! Let's go. And only once, because it was so difficult, it, like, took me years to get them. Yet for other... for people, I heard it was more easy. <laughs> and on the other hand, not so much. Uh, and yes, I know those areas are in Sonic Mania, uh, as, like, bonus stages. I... I, um... Try to get what I can out of that. And I will admit that I'm not good at that. I mean, even though that they kind of uh, altered the graphics so it's not like I stream. Ah, oh, that's ironic right there. Iron, sweet iron. This was really clever, even though it's kind of short. Please don't fire up. Bullseye Bill. Or Cat Bullet Bill. They both home in, technically. Uh -oh. Alright, so yeah, back to making. Now let me switch back to Mario. Oh yeah. Let me show you what I'm making right now. Now, in fact, let's test it out. It's called Teamwork Tower. Let's go. Yep, I plan on utilizing Link as well. Right, let's get Mario in that pipe. Mario and Link will have to work together on this. Stretch it out.
game. Let's see. Okay, what about ghost hunts? <laughs> really gonna need that that much wall? That Super Bowl flower there, in case I want to change my mind. Here.
And action! Hang on. Sorry about that, I had to tend something. Let's make it more fairly obvious that you're not allowed here. Right, perfect!
I mentioned it, but I'd, I'd like to see uh, a Mario Maker update that included, like, uh, Fox McCloud. And for multiplayer alternates, for, like, Luigi, Toad, and Toadette. Luigi's alternate of the Fox skin could be Falco, while Toads could be Slippy, and Toadette could be Crystal. Or Peppy. Whatever they prefer. I prefer Crystal, but, you know. They could, like, fly an air wing, an R wing. And kind of like the, the Koopa Troopa car, but controls a lot better. And even deflect projectiles with a barrel roll. Or reflect them. And charge up the thing to even destroy uh, their lasers to destroy the hard blocks. Blocks in general. Well, their laser could destroy blocks in general, but if charged, probably could be similar to a charged Fire Koopa Clown car. Alright. Like, they could press up in ERR, or enter an R wing on the ground. And on the ground, they can get out of the R wing and shoot things. Who knows? Maybe we can include the R wing with, with smart bombs. Also, another idea with, that would be nice would be. So I know it seems unlikely with these things, but if they added Link to this, and it's not for show, why not? Oh, like the smart bomb could be fought for Fox or any one of the Star Fox team. Power up. And... Maybe a Pokeball would be for Pikachu. Speaking of which, they don't just have to go with, uh, Pikachu, like, for multiplayer with multiple hats. They could do that, but, but they could also hear this. They could add in Pichu, Morph Pico, Plusle, Minin, Hachirisu, Amolga, Togedemaru, Idene? What do they want to do for the multiplayer alts? Alts like to and Toet can be plus a mine and Luigi could be Pichu or Morph Pico or whatever. How would they play? Probably send little thunder shocks when somebody pressed B or R. Similar to like how Pikachu would uh, release a thunder jolt and it would like uh, doop, 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 and up walls and ceilings and whatnot. And maybe even a little spark shield like Kirby did with the spark ability in Kirby's Adventure. Speaking of Kirby, why not 
on adding Kirby if they can. And, like, just give it multiple colors. Colors and have, like, a maximum tomato or a warp start. Or be the item Mario uses to transform. One more summon him. And how would he play? Probably like Kirby's Adventure. Or with, uh, but except the little hats are also pixelated on there. Or like if Kirby inhaled the fire piranha plant, he became Fire Kirby. Kirby inhales a spike or a pokey needle. Oh, wigglers, leafs, ba bombs, bomb Kirby. Magikoopa could bring back the, uh. Probably bring back the long lost magic or mirror. Magic ability that was last seen in the Kirby Squeak Squad. Or the mirror ability. That was seen in Planet Robobot. Who could br probably bring back Ghost Kirby? Kirby or something. Of course, there can't. Kirby can't inhale everything, so probably like bosses. Is like, uh, these here. Or have some enemies un unable to inhale. Like the Thwomp or the Chain Chomp. Up or a Sumo Bro. Blooper could probably bring back po Poison. Or give him the water ability. A regular or piranha plant would probably give him the leaf ability. Auntie Mole could probably be the return of Animal Kirby. Or just be kind of like how when Kirby inhales a Waddle Dee or gains nothing. Or could spit him out like a Goomba. Kirby could also like fire air like shelled enemies like the Spike Top, Buzzy Beetle, or Spiny or Koopa Troopa. Koopa like the, their shells. And no risk of get them popping out and getting hurt. Kirby can keep it in his mouth as much as he wants. And of course, flight. Deep Cheap could probably bring back the water ability. Or just be another suck up and spit out. Hammer, bro! Hammer! Alright, if we're talking about snow pokies... Simple! Bring back the ice ability. There could also be room for newer transformation. Like, they make their debut here. They want to go original. Like, like the Angry Sun, they, yeah, no, can't inhale. Hell, no, Muncher? Nope. Dry Bones? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, there, there probably should be some enemies that Kirby can and cannot inhale, if they're gonna add him in. Heck, why not Mega Man with his Mega Buster? Buster, like a chargeable one. Un, with, in the weapons variable system, like if he grabs a Fire Flower, could give him like a... A Fire Robot Master weapon, like a... The atomic fire, or, or the solar flare. Or even utilize the double gear system for Mega Man 11. Evan, Nolt skins for like multiplayer or Luigi could be Proto Man, Bass, and Duo. That kind of play like Mega Man. 
Sonic could be fast, and, like, there could be little ramps for him. And alt skins for multiplayer could be, well... I'd like to see some characters from the comics, like Sally, Tangle, Whisper, or Bunny or Antwine. And, but I don't see that happening. And they really- the Sonic team should really consider using those characters. For, like, the games. Games. They have so many great characters, they just don't really use them. Um, but I think the more likely would be probably be Tails, Knuckles, or Shadow. For alts, and they could all do a spin dash. Or homing attacks, and just be really fast and can go up walls. Stuff like that. And if they're, like, ramped. Ramped, like, uh... Let me demonstrate. And if they have enough momentum. I don't know, maybe add a ramp for them? If it kind of like meets like this, this uh, Sonic could run up the wall. Or adding the ramp part from Super Mario World. People will know what I'm talking about. Now, you know when you first go to Donut Plains, there's a area where you can, like, uh, whatchamacallit? Fans will know what I'm talking about. What, we can't give it, give it wings? I mean, a parachute? Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, let's see if we can hit that. Now!
go. All right, let's take it from the top. Alright, stop. I'm gonna be one of those levels that does that. You're gonna have to use Mario and Link's abilities, skill sets, power ups. What a trick. Bye. 
All right, so far so good. Go. Let test something out real quick. Interesting. Hmm. 
Yeah, I get it. It's still Mario, but... It looks like Link. It is a choice for me. I don't know. I think Mario did the same thing in when, uh, as another character in the original Mario Maker. Who knows? That's a part of the fun of it, this style. Is it the actual character? It's fun to think so.
This will take down everybody. Looks like it doesn't. being too easy.
My dog sat on my keyboard. Might as well check. We're still rolling, you know? And we're still rolling. Okay! Awkward. This lantern is there, right?
And action!
Move a little faster.
Thank <laughs> you. 
Make it from the top.
And action! Actually, I don't think it matters. It moves faster or slower now. Yeah, I just want to be thorough with the testing. Thank you. 
See how far they can go. Thank <laughs> you. 
최고! 
Wait a minute, now I know why I did that. I thought I could make use of this space. Nope. Thank you. 
Hey, what do you know? It works!
This is a perplexer. Alright, asymmetrical. Kinda. Sort of. Ish. You know what? End the part here. Yeah, it's been a bit. I'll see you around, everyone. And goodbye, and thank you for watching.